In a simple words, CI-CD or Continuous Integration Continuous Delivery is a set of automated steps that helps developers to quickly release their software to production. And let me quickly explain to you why. So first, software developer makes a code change and creates a pull request in a GitHub, for example. And then it will automatically be picked up by the CI software, in our case, GitHub Actions or Jenkins or CodeFresh. Regardless, CI software will pick up the code and create a new build. And then after the build was created, tests will run against the new build. And you can see unit plus. And what I meant by that is there will be at least unit tests, very likely integration tests, and hopefully some end-to-end -end tests. But that will depend on the specific company setup. And hopefully after all the tests have passed, the software will automatically be deployed to a production environment. But that is an ideal case and it does not always happen like this. Because in most cases, there will be a hard stop and the QA team will run their end-to-end -end tests. Those can be manual, those can be automated. It will depend on the company and how many tests have been automated so far. But regardless, in majority of the cases, there will be a hard stop for manual intervention of the QA team so they could test it out and then give us or give a development team a big fat thumb up just like you guys are doing right now to this video. So then software developers will or DevOps will click the button and deploy software to production. But aside of that, you should also know that there will be QA pipelines which will not be directly related to CI CD, but that will pretty much run separately and it will look like this. The QA engineer automates the task case, creates a pull request, runs end-to-end -end test, and then QA lead or someone else will merge that. So that pipeline is not necessarily a part of the CI CD, but in some cases that can be automated to become this piece of code right here where it would automatically be triggered after unit tests and integration tests and it would run automatically right before the code is deployed. And if that will pass, then the code will be deployed. As you can see, CI-CD can be fully automated process or it will likely be split into two separate pieces. And it all depends on a company configuration or release setup. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video and if you would like to learn more about CI-CD or software quality assurance, I am a founder of the Cognify Bootcamp and I'm going to leave a link right below this video for the courses for CI-CD and software quality assurance. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in learning more, feel free to leave me a comment below and hit the like button right below this video. Thank you and I'll see you next time.